Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games. And today we're right back into War Plan Pacific. Now you may be saying, where is my War in the Pacific Admirals edition? It still exists, it still lives, but this game comes out on Thursday, April 29th. We are two days away from release. I'm trying to get as much of this game in as I can. Uh, I think, for, you know, we're going to be playing War in the Pacific, Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific Admirals Edition for the next, uh, you name the year, maybe, you know, as long as I'm still kicking and there's still a YouTube, we will be playing that. So do not worry, I will probably have a new episode up uh, later today for that one, but I really want to do as much War Plan Pacific as I can, so if you're interested in the game, or you're wondering if you're interested in the game, you have enough information uh, to either, you know, download it and start playing it, or decide whether you want to uh, put your hard-earned money into this one at all. So far, I'm really enjoying it. Now, uh, some things are coming up in the comments, and I always appreciate that. Gregory, thank you so much. Gregory is always good uh, pointing out when I've got something that's not quite right or some way that we should be doing something if he sees it. And uh, he mentioned that we should have our subs on Raider mode, and we should, okay? So what is this? What does this talk about? Well, when you're in fleet mode, you're actively seeking out combat with other enemy fleets, okay? When you click this over to, ah, we don't have any points left, operation points left. Let's see if we have any operation points with this one up here. So to flip back this one right here, I do believe we have an operation point. Now we're in raider mode. And what exactly is raider mode? Well, for one thing, we're going to move this down here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get this a little further out of the way since they have a couple of fleets in hot pursuit. Uh, but when you're in raider mode, essentially what that means is you're trying to avoid surface fleets. Now you will still attack convoys, okay? And so it's, it's not like you're turning this off. You know, we'll think about it. I mean, you know, that's what subs generally are, are raiders. And so thank you, Gregory, for pointing that out. We do need those. Now, this one over here, I again, I'm going to just check it one more time, but I guess you can't flip this if you don't have an operation point left. And I did want to then go and look at our units and see what other subs do we have out here. Uh, and we'll just, uh, shoot, I wish that you could um, sort it, but I guess you can. Oh, it's down here. I got it. I got it. Uh, type. Is that what we're looking for? I'm just trying to figure out exactly uh, how I would search this. I guess it's type, right? We've got carrier operations, okay. We've got warships and large warships. Gosh, I love large warships. Um, long range sub, here we go, here we go. So the pike, where is the pike? Can we just click here and go? No, we can go to it right there. That's how you do that, okay. Uh, this is the pike, I guess. We'll see. That is the pike. Okay. Why is the pike out here with two operation points? Well, I'm glad we came and looked at this. Uh, I missed this unit. Uh, let's go into Colombo here because we moved almost everything, I believe, um, during that last turn. Or am I confused? I don't know. We're going to go find out. No, nah, I don't think I'm confused. The pike will go right up here. We'll put it into Colombo, which has a big enough port, it has to be five or above, to do repairs there. Okay, so the pike is in. Well, I'm shoot, I'm glad we saw that. Uh, let's go back to units then. We've got them here. Uh, long range subs. There we go. Uh, so the pike is now in port and will begin to repair the skipjack. Where is the skipjack? And I believe that is the skipjack that we, or the skipjack. Skipjack Squadron, you know, I'm going to keep trying to get that correct. It's more than just the Skipjack, but the Skipjack, I guess, is the, uh, the flag bearer anyway, or it's the namesake of the squadron. Okay, so there's the Skipjack. I wish this would stay when you searched or when you're doing something like this. I wish it would stay uh, going back to the exact same report. Uh, Grayling, okay, this is the one we already looked at. Um... Swordfish. Let's go check that out. 
Where is the swordfish? All right. So there is the swordfish out by Wake Island. I guess I didn't move this. Okay. Well, we're going to put it on raider mode. Perfect. And now see, that did not take an operation point. I guess maybe you can't flip when you have no more operation points. Um, and so you got to make sure you do this first, or at least that's how it seems right now. Let's just, you know, while we can, let's put it on a convoy here. It's got seven supply left, so the Swordfish Squadron has a lot of supply. Now, we are not in a hex next to land. Make sure you're not, because that's the only way that these can be attacked uh, other than by um, the the escorts, okay? Uh, and so you want to make sure you're not, like, right up abutted against land, because then they can get attacked. Uh, right, okay, so that's that. Let's make sure we've got all of this just right. Units, let's go back down here again. Long range subs. We looked at the pike, we looked at the skipjack, we looked at the swordfish, we looked at the grayling. Okay, okay, that works, I think. Uh, now then, I do believe we've moved almost everything else. Let's go look. Uh, yep, we got, man, I'm really happy we got some air cover in there. Oh, one other thing Gregory mentioned, and, and thanks again, Gregory. I, I really love the constructive comments uh, when people, you know, instead of somebody saying, hey, you dipshit, uh, you know, when somebody says, no, this is how the game works, that's always much appreciated uh, because, you know, we're all trying to learn this game brand new. Uh, it sounds like, Gregory, you must just, well, it's probably because you played War Plan, the original War Plan, too. Or, heck, I don't know, maybe you've read this online. I'm not sure. Um, let's, oh, what I was going to talk about is shipyards. You have so much shipyard capacity, that gets taken up when you have things in the building queue. So when things are building, that takes away from your sh your shipyard level. And so right now we have no, you know, we couldn't build anything else for the Brits in shipyards until something comes out of the shipyard, okay? And so that's how the shipyard score works. It's got 340, the US has 600, uh, for shipyard capacity, well, the U.S. is building, you know, we're building those transports. I think we got some battleships. I know the Brits got some battleships on the way. That's taking up our shipyard capacity. We have to wait until those deploy and shipyard capacity opens up. Logistics works the same way. This is the max number of logistics you have. As you put things on the map, they take certain amounts of logistics. It's not like that's a one-time cost. That's an, that's an ongoing cost, and this is how much we have left of logistics. You can't build beyond your, you know, overall logistics level. Okay, so that's how that works. Uh, again, thanks for pointing that out. Okay, now let's just take a really quick look around the map. We still need to do advancements and we gotta make sure you know we don't leave any build or production points on the board if we really wanna spin them. Now we're running down to Rangoon as fast as we can. We'll see if we've gotten there you know, quickly enough. Uh, the Japanese obviously have a lot of strength here. We've backed up in China behind the rivers. We've tried to use as much of the terrain as we can. We're trying to completely isolate and surround this unit. This will be turn two. Now, usually uh, land units have three turns of supply where they can be out of supply. This will be turn two before it really starts to hurt them. This will be turn two. We'll see. We'll see. We've got them surrounded. We got our uh, sub out of here. It's in raid mode now. Uh, and so hopefully these surface fleets can't attack it anymore. That was, uh, again, my fault. Luckily, it didn't hurt us. They didn't They didn't hurt us. Um, you know, gosh darn it, Java's basically a lost cause. What else can I say? It is uh, pretty much done for. I think we've moved everything around in Australia that we can. We're heading towards Darwin and potentially down to Port Hedland. I guess we could also go to Darby if we wanted to here. We can't split anymore here in Australia. We've split up what we can split up. They're all into divisions now. Uh, we have the Houston down here getting repaired in the port of Sydney. 
Um, we talked a little bit about the Kiwis. Okay. Yep. So we've we've done all we can do now that we've gotten those sub submarines moved, and I'm glad we found that. Right. I'm glad. I'm glad that that was pointed out. I would have been very upset if that submarine would have gotten blown up, and uh, we wouldn't have had it in raider mode as it should be. As it should be. Uh, right, let's just make sure we got our planes out there on full support. We do, so they're going to be running a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, cap over here. They're tactical groups, so they're bombers, but they also have some air combat ability. Uh, again, this isn't just a set one squadron. This is a full group. And so they've got a, you know, they've got more than just bombers out here. Um, okay, let's go look at the build queue. Now, the Brits now have a 109 stockpile. Okay, let's look at their deployment. They've got two battleships that will be coming out February 14th and March 14th. Okay, they've got four transports. This is 40 points of transport that will be coming. Is that enough? That's the question. All right, and so we've got these British forces down here. We've got, I believe this is just one division. So we've got uh, that's right, it's a division, 10 points, so that'll take 10 transport points, then we have this other headquarters that needs to go to Burma, that will take 10 points, okay, so that's 20, you're like, yeah, I can figure that out, buddy, we have this headquarters that probably needs to move down near Darwin or someplace like that, it's really, uh, it's the ABDA, so it's the American, British, Dutch, Australian command so it kind of commands all of them or it can so we need to move it down uh, so that's 30 points that we need to move I think that's about it I don't think the Brits really have that much more out here so when we go to the build queue let's try to get a British infantry division built uh, we've got okay great production 78 10 logistics we've got that uh, 10 manpower, build day 60, okay, that all looks good. Now that we, just, we have to decide, do we want these to be assault or anti-tank? Do we want them to be more offensive or more defensive? I think this first, well, this could also go into advancements. What are we studying? We're studying anti-tank, or we're trying to advance anti-tank. And you can see we've got five full points here. So in 266 days, we'll go up to a 43. So in the build queue, you know, we're doing all anti-tank. I'm making my British units defensive. I'm making my American units offensive. That's just, you know, I, I don't know. Is that the right thing? Could be. Might not be. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. That's uh, why you play the game. So let's purchase. Okay, let's make sure we're on infantry division. Don't want to purchase another headquarters. We're good there for now. Uh, we've got two headquarters, so we could get up, you know, that, that could... Uh, command a lot of different things so let's do an infantry division what about an infantry corps small yeah we don't have enough for that so let's do an infantry division and there we go so in 60 days we will get a new british infantry division excellent so now the stockpile is down to 31 is there anything else we can really do uh we don't need landing ships right now we don't need well we maybe need some transports but not quite yet uh, air transport, we could build, you know, some more shipyards, but I think that we're okay there. Uh, merchant Marines, now that's something else that they need. Now you can see next time we'll be up to 98. Not quite enough, uh, but I think Merchant Marines and Escorts might be the next place we go. But I did want to get another British division on the map uh, or ready, ready to go, ready to go. Now we won't have transports for that. Till a few weeks after that, so question whether maybe we should do be doing our uh, merchant marine and escorts. Probably, <laughs> probably, but that's okay. Um, is it? Is it? Is it okay? Let's uh, let's pull that back. Let's pull that back. Now we could build a couple of more escorts. That would get us up to seven and seven in the Indian Ocean and in the Bay of Bengal where we are a little vulnerable, no doubt. Uh, merchant Marines, you know, we need the Brits sending stuff everywhere. Um, you know, for instance, the British are not sending anything to Australia right now, but that's really because they're, you know, their production's not such that they can 
go nuts, but would we be better off doing merchant marines and escorts and then having Indian units built, for instance? Uh, let's go back to the build queue. Uh, oh, I guess I was on the build queue. Uh, let's go to India and let's see how much their infantry units cost, okay? So they have a stockpile of 65. Not bad, they're gonna get 50 this next time. It's taking quite a bit to upkeep what they already have. They've got logistics, okay. I mean, logistics, right? They've got, a, you know, a just unlimited manpower, essentially. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we're very close. We could actually build not quite a 41. It would have to be a 1940. Okay. Well, we might as well wait and build a 42, right, for the, that. Uh, but they'll be getting more in from the Brits this time. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go look at the Australians. The Australians have a stockpile of 52. Okay, the the Americans are sending them quite a bit. Uh, Anti-tank. Hmm, 78, 66. Yeah, we couldn't even get one with the Australians this turn. We'll have to wait till next turn and we'll build a new Australian unit. Um, we also should look at their reinforcement a little bit. The Aussies have stuff that are kind of beaten down. Let's pop that up just one, and let's also do that with the Indians up to 31. Um, okay, so I think with the Brits, I, I've now changed my mind potentially. Oh, have I though? Have I? The decisions you have to make. More merchant marines, more escorts. Nope. You know what? Let's build one infantry division, get that going, and then we'll start talking about, you know, let's get a few more divisions built. Uh, we got to get that going as soon as we can. For the states, we've got a stockpile of 284 sitting out here. And so it's a matter of, you know, where do we go with this? Uh, we don't have any transports to take them anywhere. Uh, would we rather build something a little more advanced, you know, like uh, some air superiority groups? Now, eventually, I am going to want quite a bit of that. Um, and right now, with the infantry, uh, aye, 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 72, that's not bad, though. Uh, we could just do a full, large core, okay, that would take up a lot of our production out of our stockpile this time. Um, we could also build some more ships, like another submarine group, I love having those submarine groups out there, uh, long range, 96, let's do that, let's purchase another submarine group, okay, let's purchase that uh, now our shipyards we don't have a whole lot left there okay so that costs six more uh, we really won't be able to do too much I guess we could do two more subgroups how much does a destroyer a destroyer group cost in shipyard nine um, hmm I would like some more destroyers out there that is for sure uh, but I think I'm gonna go back here how about an infantry corps small 144. 41 on assault. Uh, that looks good. Let's do that. Let's do another infantry corps small. Okay, perfect. Um, so that is our build. That's what we got going on. Now let's go look at our advancements. Do we want to change anything? I don't think so. I don't think so. And you can see, you know, how fast these advancements are going, how many more days it will take to progress these. Now, certain things seem to go at certain speeds. Now, most of these were set at 275, right? Uh, based on the year, I believe it is, and I can read more about this as we get into it more, but based on the year that you're already at and how many, you know, scientists, there's a law kind of a diminishing returns a little bit. I say scientists, these are research centers. Um, you know, that that really guides how much advancement you make each turn. Uh, China, okay, that looks fine. Soviet Union, doesn't really matter that much, right? 253, so amphibious, we're really moving along. 262, 242, it, see it's based on the year. So these are 41s. Uh, my understanding is these will go faster 
because they're years back, you know, they're a year back from the 42s. That's my understanding. Although this one, carrier operation, and it, hmm, I, I need to know more about that. Now, it doesn't really affect which ones I'm going to pick so much. Uh, these are the ones I want, but I guess it could, you know, if there's one that we know will go really fast, maybe we would do that one first, even though it's not as much of a priority for us. Uh, okay, I think we're going to go ahead and go to the next turn and see what happens. So, as you can see, a turn, you know, turn two, which probably takes a little longer than later turns in some respects because you got to figure out you know some of this stuff how you want to get it all set up but once you have it set up you know how many changes do you really have to make well probably not that many um so it's taken about an hour hour and a half i think that's good turn time in turn are you sure yes yes i am sure and let's see what happens Hopefully this really protects our uh, subs. And I mean, it should. Uh, and again, I'm really, really glad that that was pointed out. All right, here they go. Fleet moves. Uh, new song by Bob Seger. Working on your fleet moves. I really like this countdown for the AI. I think all games should do that, especially, I mean, I'm talking about games that take a little bit of time to uh, go through the AI orders phase or the different phases it goes through. I really like how it shows you how many units are left for it to move. Uh, so you have some kind of idea instead of just sitting there and saying, well, I don't know, this could take five minutes. It could take 50 minutes. I have no idea. Um, so I like the countdown. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. I really am. I think this is one of those games that I'll play quite a bit from everything I can tell so far. I really want to play uh, another human. I think maybe what we'll do is on the channel, I'll turn around and play the Japanese and we'll get one of you, uh, you know, whoever wants to, whoever raises their hand to play the allies and we'll just play each other on the channel. That could be kind of fun. All right, we haven't seen a whole lot. We saw a little movement in China. I, that'd be really great if we could isolate this. Now, it's going to keep beating its head up against the wall to try to get out of here, this uh, kind of isolated unit. I'm really surprised the AI is not coming in here and trying to bust them out. Nope, here they come in China. Attack, attack, attack. Bonsai. Uh, where did they go here? We're holding on to Batavia for now. I'm not sure where that unit went. Uh, they are going to probably, well, they are going to be blockading. Well, wait a minute. Is that the land unit? It is the land unit. Okay, well, it moved out there. Uh, did that just land? I think that's a different unit. Uh, we'll go check. Still snow in China, you see here, which is helping us on the defensive for sure. Yeah, you can see the, the combat effectiveness of that unit that's uh, right now, for any way, isolated, is starting to tick down a little bit. It's showing a four. I think there must have been an attack in there, but man, if we can hold on one more turn, uh, it starts to run out of supply. Okay, so they hit us there. Uh, we didn't show any... Uh, points that got hurt. Oh, they got hurt there. Now, it knocked us back, but both of these lost a strength point. Uh, I liked that. Uh, if they could just hold on this one more turn, we're getting units up there. Now, Singapore is totally, totally uh, isolated out there. Okay, we're dealing damage. You know, they're, the attacking... Now, we're stepping back... That's fine, but we're dealing damage to them when they're attacking. Uh, maybe making them think, you know, twice before they they hit some of these units further. 
Uh, but this is what you want in China. You know, you do damage to them and you back up a little bit and keep trying to get more and more units on the board. I really hope the Flying Tigers here uh, build up fast. They, they got, I think, at least two. No, I think they got three points of build last time. We've got them on priority. Uh, that would be a really nice unit to have out here. Heck, I'm, I'm tempted to bring them down to Rangoon, as I do in War in the Pacific. But uh, now that we have these Indian fighters up in the air, uh, we'll see how they do. You know, those are going to be like buffaloes. I you know, I don't know exact. I don't think the game obviously doesn't model down to the plane type like that, like it does in War in the Pacific. The buffaloes are not going to be as good as the flying tigers, but uh, that's okay. I mean, they're they're still okay. They're they're not bad. Let's put it that way. All right, they're really bullying us there in the Philippines, just knocking us back, knocking us back. Now they uh, took another damage point there. You know, we're just stacking units here as much as we can. Well, you can't double stack them, but we're bringing a bunch of units down. How about that? Is that a better way to describe it? Uh, that's fine if they want to attack the uh, communist Chinese out here. That is terrible terrain to be attacking in or trying to mount any kind of offensive, and they're not going anywhere. There's, uh, you know, there's nothing back there unless they can completely overrun us and get down to Chungking through the back door. Uh, Chungking is kind of the prevent, you know, is kind of the capital at this point of the war because obviously Peking has been lost what becomes Beijing uh, is Peking at this time and uh, that was the capital we've now moved it to Chongqing okay and that's the AI turn let's see what happened allies have delivered resources to China via the Burma Road five production two oil now that is under threat because the Japanese are right next to that Burma Road out of Rangoon now um the skipjack, yes, we hit it uh, in raider mode. It attacked the South China Sea convoy lane with one group. It did nothing. Eh. Uh, this is uh, the swordfish. That's the other one that we put in a convoy lane. That also did no damage, but that's okay. We got them out there. You know, they're going to do some damage some turns, other times not. The U.S. subs are notably terrible uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, doing damage early in the war oh that reminds me i think we have our advancements on attack subs i think maybe we do need to turn that over to long range subs and the reason is is because there's such great distances to get over into the japanese convoy lanes that i think it makes more sense to have long range subs and it looks like most of our subs are long range subs so i think we're gonna switch that uh philippines north luzon shattered okay india's 20th division shattered <clears throat> a Philippines division shattered. Okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> hey, we got two new uh, aircraft carriers. Fantastic. The BB Colorado, the Battleship Colorado group is now ready to go. And two destroyer groups are out there. So we were talking about maybe building more destroyers. That may be kind of moot. Uh, we've got some coming in the build queue, so that's great. Uh, fleet has low, fleet has, okay, and we'll go look at all of this over here, because all of these warnings will be over here. So, fleet has low, mixed brigade, mixed brigade, okay, army group, army group, fleet has low, U.S. has low oil stockpiles, jeez, and Australia has none, no oil stockpile. Well, we're going to have to figure out what to do, because ultimately your oil really in some respects has to come from the u.s now i guess we'll have to go look at the uk and see if they can start sending some oil out to australia uh but let's go to look to the production queue and let's look at australia okay it's got nothing in the stockpile so we still can't move or fly well let's get down to australia Let's use the mini-map. We still can't move or fly. We can't even fly this unit because it does take oil to do so. And Australia has no oil. Uh, yeah, oil use is three to do anything with this, this tactical group. So, aye, aye, aye. Uh, that's a problem. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I know, bud. That is a problem. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, so the Brits have a huge, are building up a really nice oil stockpile. We need to start sending that down to Australia as well. All right. Uh, what does India look like? Now, they've got an oil stockpile of 10 because we've been sending a lot there. Uh, I believe we're only using 22. If we look at the Brits, they have, okay, 15 Merch Marines left. Uh, do we, st well, I don't know if we want to send all of that oil to Australia. That seems a little excessive. Uh, why do I keep going to New Zealand? I, I stopped doing that. Uh, UK to Australia. Okay, the most it can send is four. Do we back off on India just slightly? Where is, there it is, India. We're also sending five oil to New Zealand. Let's back that off. Let's back both of these off. So let's cancel both of these trades uh, and we'll create new ones. Okay, so with Australia, it could go up to 15 now. Let's do like six. All right, I'm going to do Australia six. Uh, how does Australia production look? Okay, that looks all right. That looks all right. Um, but I'll, I will send them like three. Okay, so three and six out to Australia. That will be going through the Indian Ocean line that we do not have protected nearly as well. Uh, so we're going to do three and six there. And then to India, um, let's do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten and six okay to india all right and then to new zealand all right so we have australia we don't have to care about canada i care about canada don't write me letters uh new zealand will do like three and three how's that strike you New Zealand's got a decent little amount going on now. India's got a little bit. We got to get the Aussies some oil. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't we do two there? All right. And then I'm going to come down and actually redo the Australia one and make this like three and seven. Okay. So the Brits out to Australia are going to be, yeah, the max three and seven. And let's create that trade. Okay, so now the Brits are sending out as much as they can. We probably really got to start thinking about uh, getting more Merch Marines active. They've got 77 production, 60 oil right now. Okay, uh, let's go to the build queue, 77 and 60. Let's go to support. Let's do some Merch Marines if we can. Ah, we don't have enough. Dang it. Uh, we do have enough for another escort which would be 40 leaves 27 we wouldn't have enough to do more merch marines next time okay i really want to do more merch marine stuff um although i will say with the convoys now they've still got four merch marines left he do 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 we do another escort Okay, we'll think more about that. Now then, let's go to the U.S., which has 288 production and 23 oil sitting about. Uh, okay, it's sending, you know, a decent amount out here to Australia. I'm sending a lot of production, but I, I could send a little more oil, I think. So why don't we do that? Let's back off here, okay, and we'll do the U.S. to Australia, and let's do... Uh, 35 and 5. Okay, that looks good. Uh, it would still have three. Le okay, let's do 38 and 5. How about that? Um, create that trade. Okay, now that's what we'll be sending to Australia, and we'll get Australia some oil. We got to get those uh, planes up in the air. They could really help. Uh, while we're in Australia, why don't we just move our Australian troops? We'll just start in Australia this time. Uh, we will go look at all of these eventually, but you can also kind of look at them as we look around the map. So we've got our convoy set up. Uh, we've talked about uh, the British build. Is there anything we want to do with the U.S. build? We've got a 288 here. Um, they could be sending more. Could they? 
could they? Yeah, they could be sending a lot more production out. So we could build some more Merch Marines. I think maybe we will. Let's go ahead and build some more Merch Marines with the U.S. And before I do that, let's look at the deployment. Do we have any more coming? Oh, oops, not the British deployment. When do we, when's the next time we get Merchant Marines? Uh, it's not until June. It's not until June. So let's build one of those. Um, support. Let's go U.S. Support Merchant Marines. Uh, that'll be that won't be until June either, though. I mean, that's six months away, right? 180 days. Gosh, those take a long time to build. But I, I mean, I get it. It's 10 ships, but still that seems like a long time. Uh, we'll purchase one, though, and we'll get another one going for June. Uh, and on we go. On we go. Um, while we're at deployment. So the Brits really, really don't get hardly any anything. Um, they do get the second division. That's the one we just built last time. Uh, February 19th, and then the transports come in March, you know, okay, uh, and the two battleships. The U.S., uh, we've got all of these ready now, all right, so we can start to deploy those, well, say start to deploy, we will deploy those, that's excellent. Uh, the bomber group, okay, uh, infantry corps small, that's nice, that's nice, oh, that is what we built, right? Yep, we built that one. Um, 24th division comes in march gosh we just need transports desperately desperately uh we don't get that till march april they start to really start arriving in april okay but i want to really kind of build some planes but we'll, we'll get to that eventually here all right so let's go down here and look at australia and we'll start in sydney nothing to do with the headquarters nothing to do with the division in melbourne they're just hanging out um, then we have the division in Sydney that also is just hanging out. Uh, we could put it on garrison mode. As a matter of fact, maybe we will, that'll save a little bit in the short term. It all evens out in the long term. The Houston is in here getting repaired. It did not pick up a strength point last time. Uh, that will take a little bit, right? You know, it's going to take a little time to repair that. Uh, Brisbane, what's happening in Brisbane? Not a whole lot. This is a garrison unit for all intents and purposes. It's just going to sit here unless there's some action. Uh, in Carnes, we maybe want to get this across to Moresby at some point, but we've got these units up here in Townsville and Carnes. We'll keep them active for now. Uh, we talked about the planes. The planes can't do anything without a will. Uh, they need three to do something. There's no oil stockpile at all in Australia. Now then, we've got this unit. I wish we could rail it. I wish we could rail, but we can't. This is not rail. It's a road, which does allow us to move a little faster, but, uh, you know, we're not setting land speed records here. So we're going to move that there, and we'll move that there. They're moving across the outback, or they're out of the desert now, at least, and it's beautiful. It's coming up here. They're like, yes, the Timor Sea. They could see it glinting a bit. Uh, well, Probably not from 240 kilometers away, but they're dreaming of it. Is that an apparition they see out there? Uh, eventually, one of these two will send down to Headland or Darby. I haven't decided which one yet. Uh, that all looks good. Now we have this U.S. sub here, the Grayling, and we wanted to... We've got that on... Oh, it's on fleet mode. We want to turn that over to raider mode. All right, we want to get up here and start playing around with the uh, Japanese shipping. There, maybe? How much? Is he, he's got six of supply. Okay. Oh, that reminds I think the South China Sea route's really where we want to be with our raider mode. Uh, we want to be, you know, right in here. And anything that's coming by here, we want to take care of. Uh, so these are both in raider mode. Uh, excellent. Raider. Raider. I like it. That reminds me. Let's go to advancements and let's go to the U.S. Now, oh, I did do this. Okay, 
Uh, this is down to 211 days. So you can see what's really, you know, you can, can just kind of tell what's really firing here. And it's five, you know, fives. Now, carrier operations evidently take longer. There, I, I'm sh There's a table in the rule book if you want to know exactly how long these take. I'm going to kind of eyeball them. With games like this, you kind of start to figure it out just intuitively how long things take. Uh, all right, we've got our assault going. This all looks good. I'm fine with all of that. How are the Brits looking? A uh, long range submarine. I've got this on a one. Are the Brits even going to have any submarines? Do we need the Brits to have any submarines? Not really. Uh, do we need them to have much? Well, we want them to have strategic bombing. I actually think I'm going to take submarines completely off and I'll pop that up to a four or will I? Let's do anti sub. So naval air, large warships, anti-sub, a little strat bombing. Esc I've got both of these. Do I need both of these? I, I don't know if I do. Um, well, we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, how are the Chinese looking at it? advancement? 246, okay. Or This is the Soviet Union. Gosh darn it. That's China. It looks like China's flag now. Uh, cut me some slack. Uh, this all looks fine. Okay, so our advancements are good. Our convoys, we've now sent out what we need. Uh, China looks like they could actually maybe build a new unit. Uh, so we've already talked about the Brits. We'll come back to the U.S. and see if there's anything else we want to build with that. Soviet Union, okay. I mean, we'll build some things, not a huge deal. And then this is what I was very interested in. Um armor no we're not going to worry about that a mountain core might be nice 180 though infantry army one oh okay so we're not that close we do have a cavalry core uh this goes one one three with a four defense where does this go one two four with a five okay we'll wait for the infantry army we're not quite there yet. That'll be on an anti-tank. When we get to 180 in production, we will um, we will build another army. Okay, they don't use oil. The Chinese do not use oil like American forces do. Uh, we are also doing a lot of upkeep, uh, reinforcement upgrade here. They're not going to be building any of this stuff. They may build some supply trucks, though. Production 30, build days 90. Actually, I think I'll do this just in case somebody gets in trouble with um, their supply. We're going to, you can call in the supply truck and it gives them a little boost to their supply. That could be an issue. Well, I say it could be, it will be an issue in China at some point. Um, excellent. Okay, let's actually flip to, okay, so that was China. Australia now has a hundred stockpile. But I don't think, hmm. Uh, let's look at this, defense six or defense seven. 42 for an infantry division for the Australians. It's only 78, they've got enough logistics, uh, certainly enough manpower. I mean, this is why we're putting production in here. It's not going to cost us any oil, which is important, uh, since they have none. All right, so the Aussies are going to build an infantry division. Now, what about the dang Canadian? What are you doing, Canada? Get it together. Sending everything to Europe is what Canada's up to. Communist China. Oh, well, eventually they'll be able to build an army. Okay, that'll be helpful. Uh, the Dutch. Well, the Dutch are in big, 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 big trouble. I wish I could export their oil. India, 93. Okay, anti-tank, infantry division. We've got enough. Let's purchase that. The 20th Indian infantry. Uh, New Zealand. What's up, you Kiwis? 14 on the stockpile. Okay, we are going to build that up a little bit. But we could, you know, looking at this, we may even dial that back a little bit. Uh, reinforcement upgrade is really where I want this to go. Uh, they're showing one now. That's fine. And then finally, the Philippines. They don't have enough to buy to build anything. Uh, so really, all we have left is the U.S. Um, with 188 stockpile. 
Now they could build an infantry division. Mm, you know, we really, we need transports. That's really that's really all this is about at this point. We could build an escort, another escort, uh, if we start going down other convoy lanes but i don't think that's really a threat at this point merchant marines just cost so long to build we could do anti-air defense that you can add to your units that reminds me uh we may have some of this that we can pull down to a unit or two uh we'll have to look coastal defense oh hmm this may be good for the aussies to buy a coastal defense it costs 20 one manpower. I'm going to buy that for the Aussies next time. Uh, shipyards, I, I think we're fine there. Okay, this is all fine. I wish I had more transports, but there's just not a whole lot we could do about that. Uh, Air Force, maybe I will just wait and build some more air. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, Navy, we could do another sub. You know, I love those subs. Uh, 41 long range okay we'll build even oh we don't have enough shipyards to build. okay we got to have something roll out uh that's right okay we've only got 10 we need six uh okay okay that's fine all good all good i like that i like that mechanic uh to where they just don't let you spam units like crazy uh this is all good this is all fine now what did we want to do with this unit um I don't think I want them to actively engage anything. They're, I really am using them for anti-sub purposes. Do I make them a raider? Uh, maybe. Uh, and no, 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 no. I, I think what I'm going to do, well, I don't want them right next to land. I move them right there. Uh, is that right? Uh, undo that undo that let's move him right back there this is kind of protecting moresby uh, i'll just move him right there i want this to protect more just to be sitting out here and protecting moresby and Carnes. i will probably move some more fleet elements in on that uh, i guess i could come over here and try to engage this sub we know it's here two subs in the area okay so why don't we undo that uh, we haven't attacked anything yet. Now, it's a two of three. It's not at full strength. Uh, we don't need the oil or resupply. It's got oil. It doesn't have much supply, though. It's going to have to go back. Um, hmm. We need to get it within range to do an attack. Its range is one, so we got to pull up right next to the sub. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I don't like to do this with cruisers. That's not really what cruisers are for. Let's think about that one. I may go attack that sub. Some of you that know the game better than I do at this point, let me know uh, sort of, you know, is that a why? Oh, you know what? We do have, I was bringing this group over here, but that's also, I mean, it's not an anti-sub group. Uh, not really. This is a, a cruiser squadron. I could put them back out here and I could use these destroyers. What we're going to be doing is a surface attack though, right? I mean, this is out here looking for subs, anti-sub. I believe what we'll be doing here is a surface attack. Well, I'm going to go try to do it. How about that? Uh, I can't quite get there. So this guy I'm going to put down here you know, near Suva, which is where they were hovering last time. Or do I? Yeah. Let's put them like here. Okay. And I'm going to bring this British group over here and try this attack. Can I not do that though? Why can't I attack there? I've got an operation point, right? It's in fleet mode. Uh, do we, is it because it's a sub? Oh, I bet you it's because that sub's a raider. That's why you can't attack our subs when we're raiders. Oh, okay, okay. So let's undo that. I'm going to go check uh, after this episode, make 100% that's true. Uh, or 
<laughs> make 100% that's true. Is that proper English? I don't think so. I'm going to 100% make sure that's true. But I think because this is a raider, we can't attack it surface-wise. All right? Um, but I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure. So we're just going to leave that right now. It's got back its two operation points. Uh, that's all fine. Um, the Aussies still don't have any oil, so there's nothing else we can do there. Moresby, nothing we can do there. It'll be interesting to see if Rabul, what happens here. I wouldn't mind taking these air interceptors over to Moresby when we get oil this next turn. Let's hope Moresby doesn't get the absolute crud bombed out of it next time. Um, this has only got one supply left. That could also be part of a problem. It could be that they're low on supply. Now this, I'm going to have to take into port at Sydney and get some supply. Or I guess I could go. Can I go to Auckland? Yeah. Let's go to Auckland with this one. Uh, and then we'll put it back up in that shipping lane once it gets supplied up. Uh, it should resupply immediately here in Auckland. It's a five or above. Um, and even if it wasn't, it would because this isn't enough strength points. Uh, a level four port can go up to 40 strength points, I believe, on a resupply. Uh, so we've got that there. Okay. They've got a surface fleet at Manus. Man, oh man, oh man. I think we're going to lose Moresby. They're probably coming just dead red on that. What about this? the Dutch uh, Flyers? Let's get them out over to Darwin. I'm going to get them out of out of, uh, <laughs> out of harm's way. Uh, this infantry division, the Batavia Garrison's building up. Okay, let's do this in a more logical way. Let's just go down the alerts. Philippines, low stockpile. Uh, right. Well, we knew that. Uh, the Philippines basically is going to have no oil. Uh, you know, what can you do? Australia out of oil. Okay, we already knew about that. USA low stockpile. Uh, unit has low supply. Huh? Oh, it's that yellow counter tells you when they're low supply. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad to know that. Uh, we'll go into Australia, or <laughs> Australia, into San Francisco here and get some supply. Another unit has low supply. Oh, it was this one. Well, did they, uh, why would they have low supply? This one, well, that's what we put in there. Okay, well, we took care of that, I hope. Morrow Bay, could it be this? Yeah, that's probably the one it was talking about. Uh, let's go into San Diego. We'll get some supply there. Okay. This unit, all right, we'll go right into Seattle and get some. I wonder, though, you know what? I don't want to leave this. In, well, we've got enough escorts to protect this, though, so that's fine. We've got 10. Unit has low supply. That's what we just moved. Uh, that one we moved. This one, I, I bet you that's why we can't attack, is because we're low on oil. Uh, let's go into Townsville and try to get a little supply there. Um... Unit has no supply source. Okay. Well, let's bring up supply. Right. Okay. Interesting. So it's one, two, three. Well, it should have a one, should it not? Am I crazy? Why would that not have a one? They must have cut off some of our... We can't let them get in here. That's for sure almost well this is coming out of Chungking. this should amplify it and give it a one what if i moved there it didn't seem to do a whole lot let's scoot that back all i did was hit undo i was just curious if that would work now i hate to shuffle these around because we need all of the help we can get in china and we want them to entrench right and so if we click on here, we've got a one entrenchment level. If I start scooting these, they've got a zero until next time. But I don't think we have a choice. Uh, now, these still have two turns of, that has three turns of supply. That has two. Well, maybe we'll just wait. Um, that has two. Why don't we start to back this one up a little bit? Uh, okay. 
that works. Let's, yeah, we'll back that. Well, I don't want him to get through here, though. Um, okay, we're going to have to shuffle these. I didn't really want to do this, but I, I don't see that we necessarily have a choice. Let's get back to the hills. If they want to come down this way. Now, unfortunately, that opens up this rail so that they have supply. As a matter of fact, let's not do that. Uh, let's put that back up there because I don't want them to have this free rail down here because that would put all of these, I think, in good supply. And I think out here, there may be a question of how good a supply they've got. Uh, we are really wearing this one down, it seems. Uh, do we dare attack it? Um, if we hold down shift and go over it, it would be all of these units attacking it. <laughs> That's That would be something. I don't know if I want to get that bold. If I knew the game a little better, I might. Uh, okay, so we've shuffled these units back just a little bit. The main reason being is I don't want them to sneak through here because ultimately Chung King is our capital. Speaking of Chung King, the Flying Tigers, I was looking at this when I paused there for a second, and uh, their strength is up to 13. So this priority repair has taken them from a 7 to a 13 in two turns. I like it, and I think we're going to go ahead and put them on full support, uh, and they have a range of six, so they actually protect Cheng Sha. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's perfect. We could even put them down here in this town, but for now, I'm going to leave them over Chongqing and just leave them there, but we'll come back to China uh, here in a little bit. Unit has no supply source. Okay, that's the one we moved. Uh, right, okay, well, at Singapore, unfortunately, we're not going to have uh, any any more supply. Unit is out of supply, unit is out of supply, no supply source, got it. Uh, low supply, ah, okay, so this needs to come back into Calcutta, get some supply. Now, you can leave them out there, right? Just because they run out of supply, it's not like the unit just disappears or something. That's how many turns of supply you have when it goes to zero then they start having real negative effects so really in the future i may leave them down here to click down to zero because they wouldn't have you know when they go from one to zero it doesn't have a negative effect but the next turn it would so i guess we can let these go down to zero if we really want to now oh this one's out in the indian ocean eh. i'm gonna leave this one out here for this turn and just kind of check you know make sure that's all true uh, this one also has low supply. We'll leave both of those out. And then we had some partisan activity in Bangkok. One night in Bangkok. Um, okay. Now then, let's go up to the top left and work down. Uh, we're not going to be doing anything with the Soviets. What do we have up here? Uh, we just have some supply in uh, Yumichi. Or it's Urmichi. Urmichi. Uh, they also have a special... What is this? Biofuel. Wow, these guys were really ahead of the times. Uh, they've got some synthetic oil production going on out here in the middle of China. Okay. Uh, the communists are like, uh, what? Let's share it. Uh, <laughs> it's a little communism joke. Uh, production, Lan Chao, got it, got it. Uh, they can keep pushing here. If they want to attack us in the hills uh, with these units, we have a specialized mountain unit, supposedly, but it doesn't have a specialization. It's just called a mountain core. Uh, I, I, you know, let's look at this. Let's compare it to the, well, this is a full core. We can't really compare it. Uh, okay. How much better, well, it's the exact same as the army of this infantry army right no the guns aren't as high that's the only difference really from those stats now they have different strengths which is the real difference um what's this unit doing it's just kind of hanging out out here i think we may as well put it behind the river a van down by the river uh oh that's why i didn't do this last time i want to hold that town if we can whenever you hit uh, undo move it like centers and it's kind of jarring uh we're gonna stay here as long as they'll let us stay here uh cyan okay we already kind of looked at all of this uh did we want to do anything here now we brought this infantry unit or this maybe that infantry unit got knocked 
back. Oh, that okay, that's a Japanese. It's, sometimes it's hard to tell. I kind of wish the Chinese maybe had a little different color. Uh, I get it. You know, that's a kind of a brighter yellow. But when you have two yellows like this, uh, it can be, a, you know, a slight like when it's underneath something here. I thought that was one of our units, but it's not. Uh, maybe, you know, is there I, I don't know that there's a way to change unit colors. Uh, I would probably t turn the Japanese like a maybe a, you know, a reddish kind of color. Um they're the enemy, all red, right? So we've got this one of five. We do have this. This is in a forest. It's a cavalry unit. This is the one I thought maybe we can have it change places with something. Um, this is woods. This is forest. Forest. I don't want a cavalry unit down here in the middle of the forest. Uh, or hills. Now, I've got that surrounded. I don't really want to move that one. Okay, we had some enemy movement here. It went boink, boink, back to Canton. Maybe we'll go take that town if they're just going to let us have it. Okay, who do I want to move back here? How far can you go? Not far. Can he rail somewhere? Not far. Nope, he can't go far at all. all. Now, I do have a full army here. This is the plains. Hmm. The cavalry is only it's a it's a core. Why don't we put that back in Chungking and move the second group army out a little bit? Uh do we have a headquarters close to here? Not really. Alright, let's move you there and let's move you there. Uh you know, having cavalry uh, guard your town probably isn't ideal, but I do want it on better terrain for it. And if we can get a full army out here, that's good. Uh, we do have the ability to drop more units back here if Chung King really starts to get under pressure. Um, let's let you build there for a little bit, or entrench, let's say that. Uh, this all looks fine. All of these guys are under command. That looks good. I do think I want to start driving to take this town if we can. Uh, this unit's not doing a whole lot. Why don't we... Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's put that in town. And let's start moving this <clears throat> other unit this way. You know, we've just got so many units here in China. It's, it's great. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of like, what do you do with them all? Um, because you can't double stack them. I may bring this unit up and back. I think we've got plenty of coverage back here. Uh, so let's bring it down this road. And I may start bringing it back here as well. We've got to hold Chung King. Uh, that's so important. Um, Kunming. I don't think there's a reason to have all of these troops here. Let's start to drop this one back here. And we'll actually go there and maybe there and start kind of probing of what's going on around here. Now, I guess the Japanese, if they take Rangoon, can start, you know, maybe coming up this road or something. So I'll just leave him out here to the west. Uh, that all looks good to me. That all looks good to me. I mean, the Chinese war is never going to go great. Uh, but if we can hold there, that's that's fantastic. All right. So we've got these units here. This needs to immediately go to active status. Uh, this, to the extent it is, we need to set that to... Uh, we don't... Enough saved production. Oh, crap. All right, so India doesn't have enough save production. It what does it take? Ten. Well, no, I. That's right. When we go back to active, whatever it's saved by being on garrison, we get deducted. Okay, and so you know that's why I always say long term, it, there's no advantage to going to garrison. Short term, there is. So we're building up more production and more, um, uh, you know, whatever else this uses. Uh, we're building up more in the short term, but when we try to take it back to active, it, it draws all that back out so that you don't get this huge advantage. Uh, that's just to get it up to speed, right? Wow, this kind of worries me. I really don't want this uh, air unit to get overrun. Can I, should I take it up here? 
How about here? What's its range? It's a six. One, two, three, four. Okay. Although that's kind of exposed, is it not? But, okay, let's turn you to active. Let's turn you, nope, not enough to turn that one. All right. Now he can't move again. Hmm. That may not have been my best idea. Uh, okay, I, I'm not sure what else we can do here, right? If this gets blown away, it won't be able to attack again, and I think we'll be able to get it out of here. That should, you know, eat up its... Uh... <clears throat> Is that true, though? Oh, shoot. Let's move the air unit up here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's on full support. Uh... But we're gonna we're gonna have it up here. Uh, just you know, they may come up this way, but I don't think they can get all the way through all this force with just two operation moves. Um, he's gonna move down. Oh, okay. Now then, let's actually. Hmm. Too bad this is just one too far away at Lashio to cover Rangoon. Uh, we may end up moving this unit down here and also putting the air unit there next time. Uh, this air unit is up to 10. We've got it on priority. Uh, let's keep the headquarters a moving. Let's go. Now he, shoot. He, he could have gone one more, but now he can't. All right. So we're going to move that up, and hopefully we'll have enough production next time to change it to active status both of these what is this up to a seven of ten okay i'll take that we really this is the one we got to turn that to active next time uh, you know i was kind of messing around with those statuses before i really in some ways knew what i was doing uh and so i probably wouldn't you know i would have turned this very early on uh if i had to do it over again um okay i think i'm going to call this an episode now really all we have left to do is move some troops around we've got most of it moved uh to be honest we've now refueling or resupplying i should say a lot of things uh but there's not a whole lot of troops to move out here we've got this just stranded uh singapore stranded there's nothing we can do there we've got the air unit down to darwin uh, we've got a lot of things coming in for supplies this turn. I think I maybe was a little premature to bring them all. I want to get them on a rotation. Uh, so we bring in one one time, these, uh, you know, destroyer groups, and then bring in another one another time. we got to figure out the answer to this sub. My guess is it's on raider mode. So even though we can see it, we can't attack it from a surface ship because it's not next to land. That's how that works. I'm almost 99% certain, but I'll go make sure. Uh, the this is on full support and the kiwis have oil now now it takes three oil use uh but this is ready to go as a matter of fact what's its range 10 yeah it is but there's nothing i mean we could fly over here uh but there we can't get to that sub And I don't think we could attack in any way. I think that's how raider mode works. Uh, right. We're in there getting some supply. We'll just keep coming back to Auckland for that. Um, we have those new... Oh, wow. We have those new ships. Where are they? 17th. Okay. Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, California, Arizona. Okay, it's none of those. Are they? Do they show up at Pearl, or do we have to actually deploy them ourselves? It's not something we've done yet. Nope, U.S. Oh, oh, I see. So you have a deploy button. Ah, aha. Let's put the Yorktown down in the water. Okay. So I assume we have certain hexes where we can deploy this. Is that how it works? Uh, the Yorktown. Deploy. 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 Do I right click? Do I? Oh, I see. They're in green. Where you can deploy them are in green. So you click on deploy. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Uh, so we'll just have this come into, I don't know, LA. Maybe. Can it deploy a pearl? I wish it could. 
No, it can't. Let's back up and make sure there's nothing else green. I can't imagine you can like deploy it in Australia or something. That wouldn't even make any sense. So it's really LA and San Diego. Okay, so you get green hexes where you can deploy. Gosh darn it, get over there. Uh, and we'll just bring that into LA. Ah, there it is. You see the carrier, uh, the Saratoga we'll put into LA is, let's oh, hit deploy. There we go. Okay, that carrier's in. Uh, the Colorado, deploy, yes. Um, yeah, we'll just put that in San Diego. The CLDD squad, is it, now these, it's possible you could deploy elsewhere. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe not. Because, I mean, it's got to come out of your shipyards, right? Our shipyards will have a lot more capacity next time. Uh, if we look at the U.S. shipyards, well, they're showing 48 now. Uh, we only we were down to what three or something like that. Oh, so we could have gone back and and actually built another submarine group if we wanted to, and we maybe still can uh, if we have enough production left. Uh, deployments. Gosh darn it! Quit getting on the Brits. Um, deploy. Let's do one of those in San Francisco. And we'll do this one in L.A., I guess. Okay, uh, that looks good. We'll put one of those or two of those destroyer groups with our carriers. I think that makes some sense. So we have even more anti-sub. But we'll do all of that when we come back next time. We'll move those. We'll start over here and kind of go to the left. Uh, look at it, Pearl. Look at some other things. See if there's anything else we can move and maybe resolve the turn. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. Have a good one, everyone.